Hey everyone, today I thought I would share with you a mistake that I made with my camera uh, and that's to blow on the sensor to get dust off. So this is my Fuji X-T4 and what happened was there was a little speck of dust on the sensor and rather than going to the cupboard to get the little blower thing, um, I decided to just go like that and there was a tiny bit of moisture on my breath and it got onto the sensor. So now there are tiny, couple of tiny little dots. I'll try and show you, maybe I'll do a close up of it um, that are affecting the image. Um, and I'll just put up a, an image for you so you can see what those dots do. Um, they're usually visible uh, when you're at a higher F stop. Um, so for me it's been lucky because I usually film wide open so you sort of can't see those spots but if you go and film nature or um, the sky etc you'll be able to see them and they look really bad and there's no way to sort of get rid of them and especially uh, in video it's a tricky job I mean with photos you can just light room photoshop but video becomes a bit of a nightmare when that specs there and you've got to really work hard to remove it so I bought this um, to get this sensor cleaned. It's like $100 plus around here. So I thought I would give it a go um, and use this from Amazon. Hopefully I won't damage it. I've watched a couple of videos um, and I'm going to follow some of their steps to the ones that seem to be successful as in the user feedback. Um, has been good so I know that with the Fuji X-T4 because it's got IBIS in body stabilization you've got to lock up um, that uh, movement of the sensor because it's not lo mo uh, locked up I think it moves around so I think you've got to lock it before you um, clean it and then there's a specific procedure I'll show you at the back of this um, to that shows you um, how to actually clean it and there you can see my phone. So obviously I'm not recording on the X-T4, I'm recording on my iPhone, which is the iPhone 11 Pro, I think it is. So we'll see what that look, image looks like. Uh, probably won't be as good as the Fuji usually is. And certainly the background is very, uh, no, not to focused. Anyway, let's, uh, I'll flip over and I'll set up the camera for cleaning and then we'll clean and fingers crossed it will come out the other side um still working so um yeah all right see you in a sec all right so here is the packet let's see what's in there ah oh there is some instructions there or something let's see so we've got some liquid and Oh, there's a fair few of these. Well, wow. okay, so it comes with probably 12, is it? Looks like around 12. And here is the brochure. So I will follow this and we'll see what happens. I was just looking at the bottle here and I'm surprised to see it is like non-toxic, it says. So I just want to show you this because I really don't like chemicals. Um, the other thing, which I was holding this box for, but it's actually on here, is that it is made in Canada. So, or maybe not made, but designed or whatever the company is in Canada, which is uh, promising because I wasn't sure what I was buying on um, Amazon. So they're called the Universal Electric Supply. So, yeah, let's get started. All right, so I've stepped into my lab where I'm going to perform the procedure uh first things first i just want to make sure that all my settings are right so from my research that looks like there's a few settings that i need to set so because the camera is going to be on for the cleaning the main thing is to make sure that that ibis is not moving and it's stabilized and that the shutter can't be activated so we'll go through the menus uh, turn it on and just going to run through the menus here and turn the IBIS off and I'm also going to do the same into movie mode so I'm going to flick this into movie mode and as, again just make sure that the IBIS is off as well as the IBIS boost 
so that should lock that the next thing is to, uh, i'm going to do is disable this shutter button when there's no lens because i'm going to be cleaning it while there's no lens on it so in case i press that button the shutter won't move so i'm going to do that next so we'll go through here and just choose for it not to fire up when the button is pressed without a lens and the next one and the last one is just for extra safety i'm going to put it into um, electronic shutter instead of mechanical shutter just so that that mechanical shutter doesn't move just in case so that's in here and that's about it now it's time to take the lens off and actually do the cleaning so i'll cut to another frame all right so here we are i already had one go with it and it does seem cleaner I didn't record it because I got so nervous with everything, but I'll just show you what I did. Um, I should have really left that back on. Um, I did blow on the sensor with this first, upside down, um, and then I cleaned with this. So I'll just show you. Of course, it doesn't want to open because that's what always happens. Live unboxings, live sensor cleanings. Anyway, this is what it looks like. I'll give you a little close-up. Hopefully, it can... So it's sort of like a clothy kind of thing. I don't know. Anyway, um, now I did get a bit nervous trying to dispense this, but I'm going to see that was a drop, wasn't it? Or was that too? I'm not really sure. Anyway, here we go. Now camera on. Yes, it is on. Checking that that sensor's not moving. And... Hopefully that works. So I'm going to take it outside and take a picture. I'm going to put this on it like that so I'm not spitting in there. Um, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so the moment of truth has arrived. Did it work or didn't it work? What's your guess? Should I put up the image? All right, here we go. So it did work quite well however i still got two little spots that i don't know if you can see down on the lower left side towards the edge and also on the right towards the top there there's tiny little spots still there but the majority of them are gone i'll show you a uh, comparison image now and you can see it's made a major major difference however it's not perfect so i'm guessing that i probably need to do it a couple more times i did have a few goes on it um but it looks like, you know, it is a couple of weeks since I had the incident. So uh, maybe it just needs a little bit more cleaning. Um, yeah, I did notice that when I was doing it, it's a little bit like cleaning a window. And I'm really bad at that. You know, you sort of have to like go, you know, with a window when you go over it, it's sort of just, I don't know, it feels like it just repeats on you. So you've got to be just really careful because it's a little bit of, like it slides as well you know how the window cleaner is sort of so you've got to sort of across and then you've got to be careful that the moisture of the swab doesn't sort of drive you off the straight line i don't know anyway that's just a little thing that i felt as i was doing it so yeah i guess it was a success uh it wasn't perfect but it certainly cleaned up the majority of the spots for a much lower price and i can report that the camera is turning on um, and it takes a picture well and the ibis is working so i guess nothing went wrong um yeah so that's the end of this sort of vlog take you along on an adventure I hope it was helpful in some way. I'm not an expert and I've never cleaned a sensor before, a wet clean that is. So yeah, I just wanted to take you on the experience so you can see sort of firsthand what it's like um, and then see for yourself whether you suppose, whether you, whether you want to do it um, or not. Um, yeah, I don't know if it, um, 
yeah, I don't know what the instructions are exactly from companies um, of of that make the cameras, but I'm assuming you're supposed to probably send it in for a clean. Um, but then again, all these products exist, so I don't know what the rules are, but um, I guess if you know what you're doing and you research it, it seems to be safe, but yeah, at your own risk. All right, I'll leave it there. See you later.